Hi everyone. So in the last video, we saw the creation of activities, also some settings related to those activities. So in this particular video, we'll be understanding how to assign the relationships to the activities, like how to assign the predecessors or and successors to the activities. See, in construction, more or less all the activities are related to each other. That means several activities have some relationships that means maybe one activity will finish only when second activity has finished other way one activity will start only when second activity has finished and so on so we have basically four types of relationships as you can see from the presentation the most common relationships are fs ff and ss sf is very rarely used in construction but still i'll be teaching you all these types of relationships. First, we'll be talking about the concept of them. See, as you can see, the second activity is dependent on first activity. So that means second activity has a predecessor, which is your first activity. So the predecessor of activity number two is activity number one. Or we can say the successor of activity number one is activity number two. So while assigning the relationship, we will have to do only one thing, either assign predecessor to activity number two, or assign successor to activity number one. We'll be going with the simple thing of assigning the predecessors. You can go with the successors also. So you see that excavation in foundation can only be completed, only be started once your site clearance has completed. That means this is your finish to start relationship. That means by default, every relationship is a finish to start relationship until and unless stated. So your excavation will start only when your site clearance has finished. That is the meaning of finish to start. So FS means second activity is S, first, F, first activity is F. So when first activity will finish, then second activity will start. If you see in the case of painting, so it has a nine days of start to start relationship. That means this activity can start as you see painting is nine it is related with nine nine means plastering so nine start to start means it has a predecessor of plastering plastering is the predecessor of painting and it had a, it has a start to start relationship that means painting will start only when plastering has started you obviously you cannot start painting without plastering but once the plastering has started you can go on with the painting on the plastered area so this is called as start to start relationship what is this plus 70 i'll be teaching you now coming to f and f so as you see doors and windows has a relationship of finish to finish with brickwork that means doors and windows will finish only with the finishing of brickwork that means brickwork and doors and windows have to finish simultaneously okay so this is about f and f now the last one which is s and f which is not here in the example but it is start to finish for example one activity is second activity has a relationship with one of SF that means second activity will finish only when first activity has started. So this is SF which sounds very weird that is why it doesn't have any practical significance in construction. So now coming to this lag plus 70 plus 20 is your lag. What is lag? Like suppose if I have to relate any activity with concreting. So concreting will get completed after completion of the concreting you will have to cure the concrete so if any activity is beyond concrete that means if an activity has to start after finishing of concrete then it will not be directly like uh, related to concreting instead it will have a one day or two day lag based upon the curing time so curing is not coming in concreting directly instead it is a kind of supportive activity to concreting so that is why we are creating this lag so here, this 5SFS plus 10-day lag means it will be related to slab and beam of the roof as a predecessor, but after 10 days of the completion. So that means your earth filling and flooring will start after 10 days of finishing of slab and beam of roof. So I hope this is clear. This is the importance of lag. Now we will go to the Primavera software and we will assign these relationships. Okay, so these activities have already been created. So the very first relationship is, see how to assign the relationship. So what you have to do is either you can create these two columns here, predecessor and successor. You can go to customize option here in the columns and you can 
add these particular columns from here we have already have added so no need to add back so this is one method where you can choose your predecessor or successor by clicking here other method can be you can click on the activity and you can go to this particular commands bar and you can go to predecessor and successor option again it it is not very convenient method for me personally so i prefer it doing with the third method which is your detailed tab so this is a detailed tab and this is the column of relationship that you can add here if you want so you can assign the predecessor and successor here also maybe third method or first method is also convenient i'll be showing you both the methods so for second activity we have a predecessor which is your first activity so you need to click on this you need to choose first activity and you need to click on select assign so you can click on cross so automatically it will assign second as its successor similarly going back to the presentation we have for the third activity we have a predecessor which is your second activity so we can again go to third activity and we can assign a predecessor to the second activity and select okay and we can click on cross similarly for the fourth activity we have a predecessor which is third activity now we will be doing it through the detail tab so we can assign the predecessor which is your third activity and we can click on assign and we can click on cross so rest of the activities we'll do from here only so for fifth activity we have the predecessor which is your fourth activity so we'll click on this and we'll click on this and we'll click on close see automatically by default it is a finish to start which i told you now for sixth activity see this 10th activity is coming before you cannot change it maybe you can change so it won't bother you anyway for sixth activity if you see you have a predecessor which is your fifth activity which is fs and 10 days lag so we'll go with this so we'll maybe try to do it from here we'll assign the predecessor as fifth one we'll click on assign we'll click on cross and we'll assign the lag also lag is your 10 days so we will type 10 so now the lag has been made to 10 days okay so i hope this is clear to you now moving on to the seventh activity so the seventh activity has your 5 days of finish to start with 5c i re i request you or recommend you to just take a screenshot of, of it so that i did not go back to the presentation again and again so it has a uh, predecessor of 5 with 7 days of lag so you can assign fifth one assigned and cross and lag is 7 days so you can type 7 here okay your next activity is 8 which has a relationship of f and ff with your seventh activity this is your seventh activity you will assign and you will then relations you will go ff it's done next is ninth activity ninth activity has your predecessor as 7 ss and 7 days lag your 7 assign cross ss this is your ss and you have 7 days of lag then your 10th activity has a predecessor which is 9 ss we'll click on 9 we'll assign we'll go ss and 7 days lag then moving ahead 11th activity it has a predecessor 7 ff and 3 day your 7 ff and lag is 3 days now moving ahead your 12th activity has 11 ss 11 you assign and it is start to start relationship ss now last is your 13th activity which is dependent on three activities 10th 11 and 12 we'll assign three predecessor 10 11 and 
so three predecessors have been assigned so that's all about assigning the relationships but one thing which is very very important is after assigning all the relationships you have to schedule your activities then only it will be reflected in the gantt chart if i show you the gantt chart right now then see although this is right now you can see them these arrows and all are visible but you have to always schedule your activities for your dates and all to change in gantt chart it might be reflected but you have to schedule your activities and you have to put your data date how to put your data date you can go to schedule either you can change your data date from here but for that case you will have to apply your selected date to all the open projects we need not do this we'll go to projects tab and we will choose the data date as the original date of the project which is your 2018 october 22nd and 8 am so it is selected now we'll go back to the activities and now see you have changed the data date but these dates are not changed so we'll go to schedule and we will schedule it now you see these dates have been changed so your first activity site clearance is starting on 27 second october ending on 23rd october your excavation is starting on 24th october just after completion of your site clearance because it has a predecessor of first and it is taking 6 days and it is completing on 31st of october now see 24 25 26 27 28 29 and 31 if you see it is a total of 7 days but since it is a 6 day work week calendar maybe it might not be considering sunday so that is why it is taking till 31st october so this we will be learning when we will assigning the calendars and changing the calendars similarly next one if you see it is starting just after the excavation on 1st of november and it is going till 14th of november because it might be considering either five work day week i think so we need to change the calendar also so you can see the calendar in your details tab also that what type of calendar is assigned to the activity so if i click on this particular activity and if i go to the general part then you see five day work week is assigned so we can change this calendar we'll change this calendar in certain other videos maybe next video or next to next video so we'll have to create a calendar as per our, as per our company policy as per our project policy and then we will assign this particular calendar right now we'll take it this one only okay so this is how your uh relationships are assigned and now your project is getting completed on 6th of february 2019 you can see your gantt chart also if i try to move it to the left i'll just move this detailed view a little above so this is your gantt chart and this is how it looks like now see since you have chosen your data date as the starting date of the project so it has highlighted everything in yellow so whatever activities are displayed in red they are critical activities and whatever activities are displayed in green they are non critical activities all the activities which has a total float of 0 are critical activities as you can see okay so this activity which has a total float of 9 which is earth filling and flooring it is in green it is not a critical activity similarly this one is also displayed in green and it has a total float of 12 so for critical activities the total float is always zero total float zero means there is no chance of missing your deadline that means your activity should be completed on time otherwise your project will get delayed but this activity has a total float of 9 days that means you can delay this activity by 9 days and in such a way that the project schedule will not get affected okay so i hope these things are clear to you suppose if there would be a milestone here then that milestone will look like a diamond in black color but since in our project there are no milestones so that is why no diamond is being displayed in the gantt chart so i hope things are clear to you and apart from that one more thing which i forgot to tell you is copying and pasting the activities if you copy and paste your activities from here you can copy and you can paste your activities but relationships will not get pasted so you need to assign the new relationships to your new activities whatever you have copied and pasted so that's all about assigning the relationships we'll meet in the next video next video will most probably be about the calendars so thank you for now goodbye